And at this hour, U.S. officials tell CBS News that military operations to defeat ISIS are effectively paused. That's because Turkish forces are bombarding territory held by America's Kurdish allies in northern Syria. Today, President Trump called the Turkish offensive a bad idea. But just days ago, it was his decision to pull back 50 U.S. troops that allowed Turkey to attack the Kurds, who have led the fight against ISIS. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, one of Mr. Trump's closest supporters, warned this could be the biggest mistake of his presidency. Charlie Daggett is traveling in the region. He reports tonight from northern Iraq, about 100 miles from the Syrian border. Phase one of the Turkish onslaught has been even more intense and widespread than many feared. America's steadfast partner in Syria now abandoned and on the receiving end of airstrikes and artillery bombardment. Dozens of attacks across the Kurdish-held region nowhere is safe. Villages once held by ISIS until U.S. and Kurdish forces took them back. Now, civilians here are once again running for their lives. CBS News analyst Admiral Sandy Wenefeld said the offensive will likely result in serious national security repercussions. If the Turkish incursion results in backing off pressure on ISIS in Syria and the release of hundreds of ISIS prisoners, that is potentially very destabilizing and it poses a threat not only to the United States, but a lot of our partners in Europe and elsewhere in the region. The SDF lost at least 11,000 men and women in the campaign to defeat ISIS with the backup of U.S. troops and air power. Thousands of ISIS militants are now being held in packed prisons that Kurdish forces are struggling to contain. There have already been reports of unrest in overcrowded detention centers tonight, sparking fears of breakouts and an ISIS resurgence. SDF commanders we spoke to today say they feel like they were stabbed in the back by America, and they warned there would be chaos if Turkey invaded, and they would no longer be able to continue their fight against ISIS. Nora? Charlie, thank you.